you know of any other city in the United States that is draining a toxic waste dump, a Superfund site, into their metro sewage treatment plant? Well, but I, I don't know specifically, but what I, what I can tell you just from working in the industry is that facilities that have groundwater treatment remediation, um, there's, you know, there's this conservation of mass, and so you need to figure out how to, um, it, it needs to go somewhere. So basically, I'm not totally sure exactly what happens in other states. I haven't looked into Superfund sites, but I know that there are a lot of groundwater treatment facilities that deal with, um, and it's not even necessarily Superfund sites, if it's some sort of a contamination of a, a soil or something like that. We're talking about 160 million gallons that was out at the Lowry landfill. We're talking about draining this into the water system or the sewage system over a period of 50 to 100 years to get rid of it. Do you know of anything that scale can, that's can, being done anywhere else in the United check States? It. I mean, the same way with this, I mean, Abby can take that back and check and get back to you at the next right. meeting and get back to you on that. And then we can also check and see. I'm Similar to Abby, I've been to a few sites like up in the mountains where there's um, contaminated mine sites where they have a treatment process on site and then they are discharging into, typically they're just either discharging directly into a stream or river or they go to a wastewater treatment plant for a secondary treatment. Those are mostly heavy minerals, those kind of things. So I know within the state there are those treatment plants. I've been to a few up in the mountains. But we could check that out and get back to you, but I don't know off the top of my head. Well, and, and I mean, the, the takeaway is that a Superfund site can't just discharge what they have without meeting certain permit limits before they put it into the sanitary sewer. It's the same way for a drinking water treatment plant, regardless of if we get our water off of virgin snow melt versus if we get it um, out of the Mississippi River in Louisiana where it's a little bit dirtier, we still have to treat to the same standards for drinking water. And it, it's, it's the same thing in the industrial waste and on the wastewater side where mm -hmm. there are still permit requirements in place and regulations in place that require treatment levels to be met before um, it goes to its next destination. We'll check it out. <laughs>